Hi guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm Dr. Linda Kramer. Okay, I love it when I get my emails and people ask me questions. So I've received a question which a few people have asked me, so I'm not going to dedicate this video to anyone in particular. But a lot of people are asking me, how do we know if what we're experiencing is psychic or not? Okay, how do we verify it? How do we you know, we're all going through our own progression of psychic abilities and there's so many people now waking up to what is actually going on, right? We are in this new age of waking up. Well, most of us are, mm, that are on the right side of the page here, if you're following what I'm talking about. Okay, so today I'm going to talk about journaling. How do we do it successfully where we obtain that confirmation that it's not just a fluke, a coincidence or some other random experience that we've ever had, all right? So when we look at our psychic things that happen, okay, you know you'll have that experience and you think, wow, that was freaky. Write it down. So I'm going to teach you how to do it today. So the first thing is, is that you get yourself an A4 piece of paper, and you don't write this way, you write that way. Because you want to make a list on this side as well as this side. And you always leave that one blank in the first instance, okay? So here's your piece of paper. That's your first bit. So you put a line down the page, okay? So we're only going to start with one side of that line. So what you write... On your piece of paper is the date, the time, and any weird symptoms that you had when you experienced whatever the heck it was. Okay? So the first thing you might say is, okay, okay, it happened at 3 o'clock in the morning. So you write the date, you write the time. What were your symptoms? If it was 3 o'clock in the morning, were you still awake until that point? Or did you wake up, go to the toilet, and it was when you came back to bed? Or was it in that first sleep that we have before we woken up? All right, so you go through all these things that are symptoms. So here's our next page. So on the one side, you write your date. So I've just written here the 12th of January, 2022. The time, it may be 3 a.m., Excuse my writing, I write worse than a doctor. Pun there. <laughs> okay. Then you write down your symptoms. Okay. Were you hungry? Were you tired? Were you frustrated? Were you happy? So what were your emotions at that point as well? Okay. If you'd just woken up or it was a dream just before you woke up, put that in there. It was a dream just before I woke up at 3 o'clock in the morning. Okay. So you're asking yourself all the symptoms. If it was through the day, what time of the day was it? Were you, did you just have a cup of coffee? Or were you hungry? Or was it when you were dehydrated? Or if you just had a big gulp of water and now you've just had all oh, this deja vu or something. So you write down all that stuff, okay? So it's all in your symptoms. Then... You write down what happened, okay? So you might have a dream that's lucid, okay? You know what a lucid dream is? A lucid dream is one where it's like you're there. It's three-dimensional. You're there. You can think, okay? And you think, wow, that was just so real. Write it down, okay? So you might say the time, the date, and... All your symptoms, I'd been asleep for five hours and I just woke up with this dream. Okay, so then you detail what the dream was, okay? Only use the one side of the paper, okay? Because then we want our confirmations. So three days later or a week later, a year later, you might think, oh my God, I knew that information. So then you go back through your diary, your journal, and you find the date when you first found it. So on that page where you've already got it written, it could be from two years ago, okay? So then you go on to the other side and you write down the time, 
the day and the symptoms again. So when it happened, were you hungry? Were you thirsty? Did you just wake up? Did you, were you just had your coffee? All that things, okay? Because what we're doing here is we're trying to find similarities, okay? So down the bottom, you go between the first date and the second date. How long was it? And that's important because in me, I have what's called the three hour, the three minute and the three day um, advanced warning system. Sometimes I get a three second warning. I don't know why it's always threes. Huh. Okay. Sometimes I hear three knocks as well. But getting off that because it's always the threes. So I can have a three second warning where I think, oh my God, I know what that song is on the radio. I'll turn it on and it's just about to start. So that's three seconds. I can have the three minute warning where I think, oh my God, I'm about to get a phone call. I better finish washing up the dishes or whatever I'm doing. And by the time I go and get my phone about three minutes later, just as I go to pick it up, it will ring. Three hours, the same, three hours later, and also the three day. Three day is generally what happens with my psycho dreams that I have. And I call them psycho because sometimes it's like, whoa, that was so freaky. But it's generally three days later that I have the confirmation of what happened in that dream. Okay. So we write down from the first date to the second date. From the first time, yes, I just stuffed up my, I was writing my things. But hey, don't look at what I'm doing. Remember the words of what I'm saying, right? So you go from the first um, time to the second time. Was the confirmation at the same time? So if you're having these premonition dreams at, say, 4 o'clock in the morning, do they always come true about 10 o'clock the next morning? So you're remembering all the times. And the last thing, you look at all your symptoms, okay? When this thing happened, were you hungry when you've heard about it? Okay, just today I've just heard the sad news that Lisa Marie Presley's died. So what was I doing at that time? And was that a premonition from three days ago? Okay, so I look at, am I hungry now? Because when I had the premonition, I was hungry then. So you see the connection. Oh, I just said the magic word. So what we're doing, guys, is we're looking for the connections that bring us into that future time of bilocation, right, where we're occupying two times in the same. Oh, my God, this is just pure science, by the way. Premonition is when we bilocate. We're here right now, and my time right now is 6.24 p.m. on the 13th of January 2023. But if I, have a, if I have a premonition dream now, it could be about something that happens on the 16th of January, three days' time. So I'm bilocating because my consciousness is also in that other location. Okay? All right. So this is how we do journaling. We're trying to work it all out so then we're aware of when it occurs, okay? Because then you realize you're not going crazy. <laughs> One lady contacted me today and she said, am I going crazy? Because I'm having now all this stuff happening. I, it's, and she's zapping people. And I said, well, journal it down when you're zapping people. Are you hungry when you've got this excessive amount of energy coming out of your fingers? Are you always thirsty? Are you tired? Write it down. So the next couple of days when you start zapping everybody again, you can work out, oh, I only do it when I'm hungry. Huh. Okay. Huh. So now you've got some information that you can work with because it's confirmed. Okay. It's that tick. It's a confirmation. Okay. All right. So I hope that that's helped you all today with journaling. Okay. Because the ultimate goal here is to get all the synchronicities, all those connections. Okay. I grew up on Elvis Presley's songs. I, of course, I watched a lot of his movies growing up back in the 70s. Okay. So, of course, I knew a lot about his daughter. So when she passed today, of course, I'm upset because I've already got that energetic connection to her. Okay. So then we look at all those synchronicities about three days ago when I saw her at the Golden Globes 
and bingo that is how we work out how we get our psychic abilities okay so guys i hope that journaling is something that you all do or if you are doing it do it well okay we can always improve things right and i'll never say i'm a master of things as long as we keep on trying our best ultimately okay so from that that's a short one for today hope you like this little one about journaling and i'll talk to you all soon bye